So we talked about, we talked about yep. where the bullet has to go, yep. okay? And see how the gun is straight up and down? Yeah. All right, as long as the dot can see a part of the target, uh -huh. You're good to go. Okay. If you needed to tilt the gun ever so slightly, all that's going to do is increase the angle. Okay. Okay. That means more clearance. That's more clearance. Okay. On this particular gun, it's not needed because you have more than enough. Right. But if I you feel that. that you need more, then all you're going to do is cant the gun. This brings the dot then back over to the large part, and you've got more clearance. And it's faster to shoot it vertical. Uh, Absolutely, normal. because you go vertical now to vertical. Right. Now, when you come to here, you've got a large area. But keeping with the mindset of keeping the dot as close to the wood as possible to where you're just dropping the dot inside the window. If you just drop the dot inside the window, look of how much clearance you have. Yes. Number two, now we go to number three. It's exactly the same thing. The dot has to be as close to the plywood as possible to give you maximum distance. Now, as a right-handed shooter, this one's coming really good. So all you're doing is you're just rolling right around. Now, you can shoot this on an angle, but you could also do the same thing with keeping your dot now at the very, very tip of that window. With the dot in the tip of that window, you have more than enough clearance on this gun. Would it make okay. a difference if you did the bottom corner versus no, the No, you could do corner? that, but you're coming from high. You're coming from high, why go really low? Come to high, come to high, and then coming down. Right. Fluid of motion. That one, you have to tilt it. So now we're talking about tilting sideways. This is where your, this is your window of opportunity. So this is where you have to get a little bit unconventional, all right? I sit here, now I'm vertical. Now, all I have to do is rotate the gun right to here. Do you see that? Yeah. My dot is, is as high as possible here, right. which gives me more than enough clearance. But where is the stock? On top of your shoulder. Absolutely. Because to get right here and roll the gun, you saw how much trouble it's people awkward. were having. It's awkward. And you're wasting too much time. So get on your butt, kick the gun up on your shoulder, Find the dot at the very center, dot, muzzles clear, and pop it, okay? Now, this is exactly the same way. Dot's up on shoulder, let the gun rest on this one. There it is, right there. Got it? Okay. And then the rest of the ones are exactly the same. Top of, top of the wood. Roll it over a little bit. Yeah. It's natural for a right shooter, yeah. and you're right back to vertical. Okay. Okay. All right. So you want to go hot? Yeah. Okay. Start at the very top. Okay. You know where to put the dot. Yep. All right. You may begin. You should go straight up and down as top of the wood plywood as possible. Good hit. Go to the next one. Good hit. Go to the next one. Good hit. Now just roll. You should see the target. Got it. Now, go to a seated position. Feet facing forward. Kick your legs up. Kick your legs up. Bring your knees. Bring your knees up. Oh. Okay. Get the gun a little bit away. Get this knee over here. Bring this knee up to there. Get the gun away from you a little bit. Okay? Now, you got to bring it up like that. There it is. You may not get a cheek weld. You may not get a oh, cheek okay. weld, okay? How do I see the optic? Again, you may not get a cheek weld. You can look through for the optic without getting a cheek weld. Three points of contact, okay? Bring the gun up to your eye line. Got it? Got it. All right, when you have it, press the trigger. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> Got it, excellent. Ooh. Going to the next hole. Drop straight down. Kick these legs out from behind you, straight around. There you go, kick him around. Excellent, drop down to a prone. Straight prone. The gun should be straight up and down. Straight up and down. Dot at the top of the plywood. Got it. Move to this middle hole. Go diagonal on the dot. Your dot should be probably at the upper right diagonal portion of the square. Kick your body on around. There you go, you got it. There it is, perfect. Got it. Next triangle. You don't even need to go sideways on this. You can go halfway. There you go. Put the dot at the very top of the plywood. Got it. Oh. Now you got the worst hole yet. Oh, yeah. All right, coming right up. 
All right, go to a seating position. Put your muzzle right up there on the wood. There you go, right there. There it is, there's your helper. Find the dot, find the target, got it. All right, okay, see, it. mag out, and we are clear. Nice job.